Did Enphase just make the perfect microinverter? Did this product just make everything else on the solar market obsolete? There's an overwhelming opinion that Enphase has earned that this product is the highest quality and the most reliable. And now with the new IQ8, where it's now grid forming, where you can use it as like an off-grid solution, inverter only or inverter and storage, it may seem that this product just won as the best inverter ever made. I'm going to review this product but I'm going to also honestly and openly let you know what the flaws are with this product because there is a catch. The whole philosophy is that every single solar panel on the roof has one of these inverters installed underneath of it. That inverter plugs into each individual solar panel and takes the DC electricity the solar panel produces, converts it into AC, and then all of that power is combined and then set down to a combiner panel where the power is then distributed to the home or back fed to the grid or used to charge the battery. Enphase started their company back in 2006. I recently did an uninstall reinstall of a 10 year old solar panel system that utilize these older Enphase microinverters. Every single microinverter was still working. So they really have earned that repu reputation of making a high quality product. Now it's here, the Enphase IQ8 that can operate on grid or off grid and there's a battery solution. So what's the cap? The first thing that I want to mention is if you read the overview on the microinverter and how it works and what the technology is behind it, there's one major thing that stands out. This product is very software intensive. It is a very technology driven product. So when I hear people have bad experiences with microinverters, or had reliability issues, it always points to software. Having issues getting the software updated, having issues getting the software or the firmware loaded onto everything and getting the system operational. That's always the issue. So another thing that I wanna point out, which is a, a huge problem for Enphase, is the maximum output on the IQ8 inverters. If we go through here, the peak output of the IQ8 the peak output AC is 245 watts. The IQ8 Plus is 300. And then if you go over to like the M, the A, or the H, you're going to have more 330, 366, or 384 watts. Most people are installing the IQ8 Plus. So that's a 300 watt output. Why is that a problem? Because in the solar panel side of things, we are transitioning into larger, more efficient solar panels and the wattage is going really high. The majority of solar panel systems I see being installed, the panels are rated at 400 plus watts. So if you have an inverter that can only output 300 watts and you're plugging in a solar panel that can output 400 plus watts, there's going to be something called clipping. And it's essentially electricity that that solar panel is producing that microinverter can't take and convert to AC. So there's wasted electricity. I think that's a problem because this trend of wanting higher wattage solar panels isn't going away. They're just gonna keep getting more efficient and bigger. And so we're going to have 500 watt panels. And that brings me to the next drawback, which is, these, these microinverters are putting out anywhere from one to about 1.5 amps per unit. So when, when you're looking at the maximum amount of microinverters or solar panels you can put on a circuit, a 20 amp circuit, you're looking at 13 with the IQ8+. Solar panels are connected to the infrastructure that you have at your home. And the infrastructure that you have is going to allow a certain amount of solar, but there are other products out there that allow you to put more solar panels on your current electrical service than what Enphase does. There's, there's one more drawback to Enphase microinverters, and it's going to be cost. The solar industry has been built around this idea that electricity is expensive, save money by installing solar panels. 
And if you're trying to offset the cost of your electricity, you want a cheap, reliable system, not an expensive, reliable system. If you stuck around this long, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and then check out the other videos I have. I appreciate your support and I appreciate you checking out all my content.